Welcome to this video on the unboxing of the Canon 250D. Now this is the predecessor to the 200D and it's also known as the SL3 in other parts of the world. It comes with a 24.1 CMOS megapixel sensor and then that's accompanied with 4K on the video. Let's have a look inside the box shall we? So straight away opening up the Canon 250D box I expect to see a rather large Canon manual. Now this is usually found in most of the Canon cameras and you will probably see that there's no change here. So let's just have a look, put that to the side and yes you can see that this is the EOS 250 manual and you can see that you've got plenty of stuff that you can look through here when you get the time to check with your camera. If we move out the first part here which is the cardboard protection we're going to be greeted with everything inside. The first thing I can see to grab is the Canon strap. This is standard with most Canon cameras and they're going to come with a strap which you can then fit around your camera and then put it around your neck. Keeps it safe. The next thing I can reach in and see is a cable and I believe this is the cable which connects to the battery pack. But I can already see straight away as I'm opening this up that it's the two pronged um, adapter here which means that you will actually have to get a plug for this if you live in the United Kingdom. I'm just wondering if the plug comes in the box, hopefully it does. The next thing I can see to get my hands on is the battery charger. Now this is just going to be a standard battery charger from Canon, but all battery chargers do the same thing, don't they? They charge the battery. Let me just turn up the brightness a bit on the camera. There we go. And you can see that this actually fits the smaller battery which is found on the 200D. And if we delve into the box a bit deeper, we're greeted with the battery. Now this is not the same battery found on models such as the 80D and the 7D. It's actually the same one that you will find in the earlier model, the 200D. Now this is supposed to have better battery performance and you can get up to a thousand photos apparently. So that's pretty impressive. Let's put this to one side. Okay, so the last thing I can see in the box now, I believe is the camera. And this is what we're all really wanting to see, I'm guessing. So let's see if I can get this out of here. It's a bit tricky. There we go. I will say they wrap it up pretty well, which is good to keep it protected. Let's have a look at it. Here we have the Canon 250D. Okay, so this is the Canon 250D and straight away I can feel that it's very light and it feels actually nice in the hand. It does feel very small, I will say that, but it feels more comfortable to hold than the M50. Now you can see straight away that you have the shutter and the mic inputs here. And then if we turn it around, I would expect to see the HDMI and also the USB port, which is correct. Now if we have a look at this camera from the top down, you'll be able to see that it looks very similar to the 200D in the button placement and the dials. You've got your mode dial there, you've also got the on off switch here and which you can switch to video and you've got your ISO buttons and then the dial here. You've also got the shutter button at the bottom. If we now turn this camera all the way around to the back we're going to be greeted with one of Canon camera's best features and that's the screen. You can see here that we've got the screen and we've also got this very small little dial here which actually is a lot smaller than any Canon cameras I'm used to. So that's going to be interesting to try and navigate if you've got a big hand. Of course, it comes with the fully articulating touchscreen, which is so commonly known on Canon cameras, and is definitely one of the best features that you will find on the camera systems. Okay, so here you can see next to the camera, I've got a 10 to 18 millimeter lens, and this really shows you how small the camera actually is. Okay guys, I want to thank you for watching this unboxing of the Canon 250D and let you know that I've got a full review coming in around about four to five days. This is going to be on the video and the photography and also the autofocus of the 250D. So if you don't want to miss that, make sure you hit subscribe and become a part of our growing community. And also if you found any value in this video, then why not just treat me to a coffee? That would be lovely. If you want to do that, you can do it in the description. Whatever you do for the rest of the day, guys, I hope you have a great one and I'll see you in the next video.